Hello, Austin Underground. This is Cameron Liu from the band Ginger Root. Thanks for watching this episode, and I hope you guys enjoy what you're about to see. Hi there, Austin Underground. My name's Anna, and today we're hanging out with Ginger Root. How are you today? I'm sweaty. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> That's a big mood. Um, <laughs> so just to start off, a really basic question. Why Ginger Root? Uh, ginger Root, uh, I'd like to say that it was like, oh, because it's an herb and it's refreshing and it's got healing abilities. No, I saw a YouTube video that I thought it was really funny. And it was like four in the morning and I saw the video and this, this band was the front man was talking about like ginger root he was doing this whole rant and I thought it was so funny and I could not stop laughing so I wrote a bunch of songs and when I was starting the project out I was like oh, I should put a name to this and then I could not stop thinking about just the word ginger because I thought that video was so funny so yeah. <laughs> yeah nice you know it's kind of funny that you mention it because you also have your um, kind of promotional ad on Instagram <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to talk do. about that yeah um, straight up n nobody was buying tickets and so a lot of the venues were like hey we should probably do something about this and I was like okay I have a free Saturday I'm gonna take my camera out and just try to like make a bunch of fake scenarios of what would happen if you came see a ginger root show and um, you know we, were, we played Chicago a couple days ago and this girl was like hey I have no idea who you are but I got this targeted Instagram ad and it was so weird that I bought a ticket so I was like nice that was I we yep it worked nice yeah <laughs> so you were a film student um, did you do it all in one day uh, I filmed all those in two days uh, so pretty much pretty much like over like one full weekend like wrote them and shot them and edited them and, and everything so yeah so you did everything <laughs> I, did, I did yeah wow, that's, that's impressive um, so how would you describe your sound aside from like you know fresh and uh, we've categorized our genre as uh, aggressive elevator soul. So um, it's aggressive because the live part of it is, is really like, um, I guess like aggressive and really aggressive, I don't know. Um, uh -huh. And then, uh, but somebody at one gig said it's like elevator-like because it's like kind of smooth and chill at times and then soul because I uh, kind of draw from the inspiration of like um, the days of Motown and like Stax and Philly Soul and stuff like that too. So. Cool. So uh, what would you say your favorite moments from touring, headlining your show are? Um, it's been really cool to see. I think something that was very memorable was when we played Brooklyn because that was our first time in, in New York and that's like literally on the opposite side of the country. Like we're from Southern California and we're going to, you know, the, the Big Apple. And um, yeah, it was just really cool to see people actually there to like, because they are familiar with like the music that I'm making, which is like just super cool. And so mm -hmm. yeah, that was definitely like a memorable moment, I think. But just like the little things day to day, you know, the little uh, quips and quirks that happen along the road, like dumping the, I don't know, our luggage bag because it's full of water because we hit a tornado. Oh, we hit a tornado oh. in Indianapolis. Like we sat down at this like fried fish place. Uh -huh. We ordered our food and we look out the window and I've never seen that much rain in my entire life. And it was just like, crazy thunderstorm and we're like wow we're trapped in this fish restaurant for a, quite a while so definitely some stories yeah yeah that sounds really crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah but it, it's fun it's cool and um uh we're nearing the end of it and i'm excited to go home but we've had a good run so cool yeah. so how's the music uh scene like in you're from orange county right yeah orange county cool how is it there um orange county is interesting it's uh it's definitely kind of it's definitely got its particular music I feel like that it, it 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 caters towards and we're very not that type of music so whenever when we were just starting out and I was trying to like put us on shows and get us to play places it was very hard because like it'd be like three rock bands and then one like like soul band and it was or like one indie band it was like really interesting and and kind of like this interesting balance to try to figure it out but um, yeah so the music scene is definitely thriving in its own way I think um, just I don't think it really catered to helping us that much, which is why we kind of try to branch out and play other places and, yeah. and kind of go that route. Cool. Yeah. And so um, I would say what inspired you to pursue music in the first place? Um, well, so funny enough, so I went to school for film and music was just kind of like a creative outlet. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I going to school for film kind of put 
a weird umbrella of like academia over it so I kind of got I kind of got like I lost a little interest in film like I still really like doing film but mm -hmm. so I found myself like drawing towards music a little bit more just because it was like a stronger creative outlet and yeah. it was like faster than you know working on a film for six months you know I just write a song in a day and it's like yeah. it's just really cool and and I, I guess I like creating things um, you know from all facets of the band so whether that is like writing a song or um, making a video for it or designing a tote bag or whatever um, I just like making like things and, and being creative in that sense so um, I think music's I, f I find music really fun and it's kind of cool to try to connect with other people through this medium and stuff and and definitely trying to incorporate all different like creative mediums into like the band is is a lot of fun as well mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, what is your songwriting process like is it lyrics first music uh... um, it's usually music first uh, Sometimes I'll, I'll write a song and I'll just play something and then eventually it's like, it's kind of 90% there like by, you know, the first hour. And then sometimes I have voice memos from like two years ago that I dare not listen to, but I'm like, <laughs> I will finish one day. Um, but yeah, usually music comes first. Um, I do like a rhythm track and then um, after that I try to figure out vocal melodies and the structure of the song and, and then lyrics. Usually I like the last thing, but yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so I do just dropped two new tracks, uh, yes. Weather and Slump, yeah. at the beginning of the month. Cool. Uh, so I watched your video, Weather. It's really cool. How did you <laughs> come you. up with the idea? Um, it was a hodgepodge of stuff. Originally, I wanted to just do like a Soul Train tribute. But being that like a lot of people are doing that nowadays, I was like, I feel like I, I missed, like I didn't do that concept fast enough. So yeah. um, I was like going to have this like, like, the big dance sequence and whatever and then I was like I don't know like 50 people like I can't it's just like hard to get that many people in a room so then yeah. um, that's where the whole like channel surfing idea came from and that was supposed to have different people but then like you know we were on tour while we made like while I made this idea and like so just logistically I was like maybe I should just be in all the shows like I think it'd just be really easy I'll just shop for myself like get clothes from like the thrift store and yeah. then it just kind of came about from there and we shot it all in in one day and um, uh, Tahila De Castro, who shot my other couple music videos, uh, shot this one, so it was great, like collaborating with her again, nice. um, and and yeah, and it was just it was a lot of fun, definitely. It was very like last minute, but all the music uh -huh. videos are very like, uh, just do this and you know <laughs> juggle this and what. So yeah. it definitely doesn't look last minute at well, all. Well, <laughs> nice, great. <laughs> So, awesome. um, are Weather and Slump going to be like part of a bigger project, an album, an EP, or something? Um, Weather and Slump as of right now are just kind of I think like um, their own thing um, but that that is not to say that like there are new songs like being in the works and stuff and mm -hmm. so definitely the rest of the summer my plan is to kind of um, kind of take it easy from the shows and start writing some new stuff and hopefully a new uh, a new album early next year maybe cool. summer of next year at the latest so yeah definitely yeah and so uh, how did you like I guess come together with like the rest of your band yeah, um, so Dylan and Matt, we all went to the same high school. We were in this like um, after school performance arts program and um, they're a little younger than I, uh, I was um, or I am. And um, so we all played in like different, like me and Matt had a band and then like I played in a cover band and then Dylan had his own band that was touring around and then me and Matt played like wedding gigs and, and just like this whole bunch of stuff. And then I started writing all the stuff as Ginger Root like by myself and I recorded the whole album and then um, wanted to play it live and got them to help me back it up and so now we're just a trio and so yeah we met all through high school and um, yeah we're uh, we're all good friends so cool. yeah. and so uh, is there an artist or a band that you look up to for like inspiration and I don't know that you want to work with in the future oh man um, I mean the influences kind of just come and go um, but I like I'm a big Tori Moi fan Ben Folds is really cool um, uh, Wolfpack's a big inspiration, and then also like uh, like Kira Kira Benito, uh, uh, Jason, Caroline Rose, uh, just a whole bunch of uh, Metronomy is also good that I really like. They're a band from uh, across the water in the UK and stuff. So, um, but yeah, I don't know about Dream Collab. Um, Dream Collab songwriting wise would be Feist. Cool. Dream like instrumental to hang with is. Austin local band uh, uh, White Denim, so James Petrali from White Denim, definitely, and um, yeah, I think, and then like strategy-wise, definitely like Jack Stratton from both Peck, so. Cool. Yeah. And last but not least, what's your favorite song to perform live and why? Um, 
I think now it's probably Weather, um, just because that's our one song with like audience participation and uh -huh. it, it gets the crowd. It's definitely more of a dancey song and, and it's a lot of fun. We've I've got like a whole bunch of stuff like synth-wise going on and you know a bunch of cool just trade-offs with like the band and rhythmic changes and so um, definitely that's like a lot of fun to play. Very high energy, very fun. Yeah. yeah. yeah awesome. Thank you. I'm really excited for your show tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for uh, talking. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So make sure you guys check him out on all social media platforms you want to plug in your yeah it's just uh at ginger root music that's twitter that's instagram and then um just ginger root on spotify apple music bandcamp soundcloud uh, uh google <laughs> awesome and also don't forget to check out austin underground or website austinunderground.org all the socials instagram for more stay tuned